Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at the gear loadout that we will use for our July 2014 overnight adventure. Now on this trip, it's gonna be my wife and myself. This will be the first video where she has come along. We are gonna have an awesome time, I can't wait. It's gonna be very, very special, no doubt. Now since she is joining me on this trip, we will have two different loadouts, his and hers. This portion is the his, this is what I'm going to be carrying, and then she will do a portion showing off what she's carrying. So for now, let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at all the gear that you guys voted on and some of the stuff that I've thrown into. Let's do this. So to start off, let's go ahead and take a look at the pack that you guys voted on. This is the Arcteryx Echo pack. This is part of their leaf division, their leaf line, and this thing is awesome i tell you what i cannot wait to use this pack it is basically a smaller civilian version of the ilbe rucksack the united states marine corps this thing is pretty dang slick no doubt about it the sleeping pad that you guys voted on was the thermarest x therm nice pad right here very lightweight right around one pound now when it comes to the sleep system you guys voted on the bang good fleece liner and that's what we're gonna use. Now, the temperatures lately have been a little bit colder, so I'm gonna add just a regular fleece blanket to the mix. That should keep me nice and warm all night long, especially at the elevation that we're gonna be at. Now, take a look at this, my friends. This is our tent. This is our shelter for the night, and this is the Sierra Designs Mojo UFO. It is not every day that you get your hands on an $1,800 tent. Let's go ahead and do a close-up on this tent here real quick. Sierra Designs, Mojo UFO, Ultra Light 2 Person. That's what the tent looks like. And I will be setting this up before we go out, just so I have that experience. Less than 2 pounds, Cuban fiber, Carbon fiber poles, Mojo UFO, top secret. <laughs> now when it comes to our cooking, heating water, and all that good stuff, we're gonna be using the Optimus Crux stove and the Terra cook set. This is a pretty nice system. You guys know that I, I like this stove a great deal. Very lightweight, it's a great performer all the way around. I have one canister of gas inside of here and my wife has another one. Now when it comes to the food, my wife and I, we are gonna share a mountain house meal and this is gonna be the lasagna with meat sauce. Also, inside of my food bag, I have coffee, I have snacks, I have some barbecue baked beans. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show her how it's done. I'm gonna treat her right on this trip, no doubt about it. I also have a titanium spoon fork from Light My Fire. Inside of my food bag, I do have a gallon-sized Ziploc bag along with some lime just so we can string up our fare bag. When it comes to water, we have the Camelback Antidote Mill Spec, and this is the wide, short one. Three liters, insulated tube. In addition to that, I will have two 16-ounce bottles of water, and this is for cooking and coffee, stuff like that. I do have a pack cover, which I will use with this pack right here. This is actually for an Everly stock bag, but this will definitely work for the Echo as well. Now, of course, we have our miscellaneous bag, first aid kit, toothbrush, toothpaste, toilet paper. I also have some lights and additional batteries. We will be using the Petzl Tatika RGB headlamp. You guys recently saw a preview on this. We also have our fire kit. We have a lighter. We have a fire steel that my good buddy Ray sent me. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm looking forward to testing this out and using it. We also have some solid fuel espit cubes, just in case maybe we want to get a fire going if it's really, really wet. Now, to be honest, guys, it has been pouring the rain for a couple of days now, and on our trip, the day that we're planning on going, it is forecasted to rain and storm. So, I mean, there's a possibility that we may not have a fire. We shall see. Our knife for this trip is a Lone Wolf blade. Very inexpensive. I don't remember the name, the model of it. I'll post that on the screen for you. We will have a preview of this knife coming up soon. This right here is a backpacking towel from Discovery Trekking. This is the extreme ultralight backpacking towel. You guys will see a preview on this coming up soon. Now here we have a couple of items that I'm going to test out and that's why I'm bringing them along. What we have 
right here is the UV pack light scout kit. This is pretty cool. And here we have an interesting product from a company called Sunjack. And this is the camp light. I've already been using this some and I have to say that I really, really like it. And what you have here is a light bulb with a USB plug on the end. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to grab my battery bank. Inside of this bag, we have extra batteries, memory cards, and we also have our battery backup. So I can take this light and I can plug it in to this RAV power battery bank. And check this out. <laughs> and this thing is pretty darn bright. This is the equivalent of a 40 watt light bulb. Very, very impressive indeed. We're going to be testing this out. We're going to see how it affects the battery life here on this RAV Power 5400 milliamp battery. I like this a lot already. These are very inexpensive. I believe you can pick these up for like around five bucks. That's awesome. Now, my friends, let's go ahead and wrap this up and we'll do so by talking about the clothing. I will be wearing just a regular t-shirt just like this, which I got from Old Navy. This is part of their active line. You guys have seen this before. Since they are calling for rain, I will be using the seal skin waterproof socks in conjunction with some sock liners. Already I've begun testing those out. They really do work well. I went out for a hiking trip last night, did about eight miles in the pouring rain. Shoes were soaked. My feet were completely dry. Didn't even sweat at them. Really top notch. For the pants, I'll be wearing a pair of Mountain Hardware convertible pants. Just in case I'm getting hot going up that mountain, I can unzip and cool off a little bit. As far as the shoes go, we have the Vasque Jux, which you guys have seen many, many times. Favorite shoe ever. Absolutely awesome, no doubt. Now, since they are calling for so much rain, I am definitely bringing some additional clothing with me, such as a pair of nice, good dry socks for when I go to sleep, a long sleeve, very breathable shirt, a nice pair of comfy shorts to sleep in, and of course, some waterproof pants. These are the Marmot Precip, and a waterproof jacket, and that is also the Marmot Precip. Our last item is the Blackberry Playbook, and I'll have some movies on that, so we can have some pretty good entertainment all night long, just in case it's pouring the rain or something like that. We don't have a fire. Always got to have a backup. So everybody, that is my loadout. That's all the gear that I will be carrying with me. Now, of course, it is possible that I will give my wife some of this stuff to carry. We'll have to get the weight distributed correctly once everything's kind of getting packed up towards the end. So my friends, that is the loadout. That is the gear that I am carrying. Now, as I said before, this is part one. Part two is coming up, and that is gonna be all the gear that my wife is carrying. So you actually find that part uploaded online today, the same time as this one, so you can watch both parts. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. Thank you everybody who went to theoutdoorgearreview.com and voted for our gear. It is because of you guys who voted that we are using this gear here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care, be well, strengthen on.